to be called to the honourable member for Hasluck. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. This year marks 50 years since the end of Australia's involvement in the Vietnam War. What action is the Albanese government taking to honour the service of our veterans? Good question. To call to the Prime Minister. I thank the member for Hasluck and I thank all the members of Parliament who attended the ceremony uh, that was held uh, this morning. Uh, this year we mark half a century since Australian guns fell silent in Vietnam. 60,000 Australians served in that conflict. More than 3,000 were wounded and tragically 523 were killed. Futures were robbed, lives were changed forever for those who went and for those who loved them. And yet for so long the truth is that we as a nation didn't measure up to them to those people who served in our name, who did their duty in our name. We didn't hold up their names so proudly. So to each and every one of our Vietnam veterans today, I say we honour you and we thank you for your service. Yeah. And this morning, I had the great privilege, along with the Minister for Veterans Affairs, uh, to present 10 veterans who are here with us in the gallery today, and I welcome you with the commemorative medallion and certificate of commemoration. Barney Hanson, Brian Armstrong, Colleen Thurger, Jerry Mapstern, John Moore, Mac Weller, Noel McLaughlin, Pedro Rosemond, Ray Lastell, and Rodney O'Regan. To all of you, I say thank you for your service. Yeah. To the men and women who serve us, continue to serve us in the Australian Defence Force, we thank you for your service as well. We also want to acknowledge the families of Vietnam veterans for their sacrifice and their support. Uh, we will uh, continue, continue uh, to uh, honour, particularly in this 50th year, uh, the veterans who served our nation, and we should give them the gratitude of our nation. I'm sure that I can speak on behalf of every member of this parliament on this occasion, uh, that we do honour you. And in August, of course, when we commemorate to the day on Vietnam Veterans Day, uh, there will be a range of commemorative services around this country as well. And I'm certain that members of parliament from across uh, the spectrum will participate in it. Uh, you are very welcome here, and I honour you today. Yeah.